In Israel, I saw a really uh, unique company that's doing all sorts of fantastic things with indoor mapping, uh, and we'll get into what they did. But today they uh, launched uh, Space Tag, which is a way to put tags in, into space and uh, on your mobile phone. We'll talk about it right now. Hi, well, thank you first uh, for inviting me and uh, I'm happy to be here. My name is Gil. I'm the CEO and co-founder of ShopCloud. Um, ShopCloud has uh, been established from 2012 and we're trying to do great things yeah. and great technology. Well, uh, let's talk about ShopCloud first yes. and then get into this app that, you're, that you released. When I visited you, you, you did all sorts of fantastic things to reduce your error, error rates inside uh, malls and inside yeah. uh, uh, indoor spaces, right? Yeah, indoor navigation. Indoor navigation. Yeah. Yeah. It's a hot space, and yeah. you've found some really unique ways to uh, count the tiles that are underneath your feet yeah. as you're walking around and be able to see d uh, things, uh, you know, uh, signs or, or f uh, picture frames, how far they are from you and stuff like that. Um, well, uh, uh, am I getting it right? Yes, yes, I'll tell you. Um, in ShopCloud, first of all, what I specialize in is computer vision and augmented reality, and we've decided to take it to a few different directions. Uh, but before that, I would like to share with you, you know, why our team waking up and coming every day to, to the office, why we are so enthusiastic about our technology. Yeah. Uh, we noticed that um, in the last few years, everybody's using the mobile. And we noticed that everybody's, uh, in some sense, are concentrating in the, in the virtual world instead of the real world. You know, yeah. for example, when you walk in, um, yesterday I was walking around San Francisco and I noticed that all the time I'm looking at the phone and I'm, in some sense, missing out how beautiful San Francisco is. So we put, first of all, in our target to um, connect you from the virtual world to the real world. And um, our technology enable us to do so. And our, what, what I mean by that, we make all our apps and all our technology act in some sense like the camera, transparent. So it's mean that once, because we know uh, product recognition, all this augmented reality. So if you're going to a shop, we will help you do shopping by recognizing like that, the product, get all the information. We will help you navigate inside the store and all the time you're walking with, with your camera like that, uh, sorry, with your phone, with a smartphone like that. Right, like so in some sense, it's like Google Glass, you can say, like glasses, but right now it's one step before. So we're trying to do that with the smartphones. So once you do the shopping, and let's say you're going out to the malls, why not helping you to navigate inside the shopping malls and at the same time get all the information because I recognize the surrounding. Yeah. Now, so we concentrated on that, but and then for a long time, we thought, you know, mapping is one of the issue, one of the obstacles that every indoor navigation have. So we were looking for a cool way to do it, or um, crowdsource, as you can say. And we specialize to do virtual beacons. We know how to stick beacons, and when you open our app, straight away we recognize this beacon, and we're doing positioning for you. And from there, we're doing tracking. So in our office, we start putting these beacons, which was pictures, and we start talking to each other on these pictures. And we looked at each other and we thought, wow, this is a great social app. Why not use this app to let people map for us places? So actually today we launched uh, Space Tag yep. in Android and in, uh, in iOS. And what Space Tag do is enable user to nail, actually nail picture yep. in the surrounding, in your immediate surrounding. and you press in this dot, and this dot yeah. stay here forever. Yeah. Now, we, what we did right now, we did 50 meters around you. So it's mean that once you put this snail, this picture, and you walk in 50 meters away, you will not see it. Yeah. So, for example, I, I f came here earlier, and I, I left a, um, a picture saying, waiting to meet uh, Mr. Scoville. And you can see already people start, um, start leaving notes, you know, replying to what I did. So if you can see, there's a lot of um, here, the, a lot of uh, picture that I left here in the office. Yep. And everyone that will come in this office will see these um, photos. Now there's so much you can do with Anytime that. Anytime you're within 50 meters. 50 meters, yeah. yeah. Now we even thought, let's say for example, that I'm coming into a place and there's no photos or notes. So first of all, they tell you you want to be the first one to make a mark on this uh, surrounding. And if you don't want to do it, you can, there's um, a telescope that open uh, that you can see further um, photos or notes. And what we do, we're showing you from each direction the three closest one. 
that, that you will have um, you know, things that you can see in the app. Yeah. Now, of course, as more people use the app, more um, you know, photos and notes, it will be more interesting. What now, happens when, it, when there's a thousand of them or a hundred thousand? So, of them we did our own algorithm. What we did is that you will actually see from today backwards. So, for example, I always give an example. Let's say you go to a soccer game or football match, and imagine everybody can take photos and everyone can see at the same time the photo that the other put. So, I will always show you the first what people did today and backwards. Now, I always give example like um, you always get. Um, messages when you don't really need them. Like, for example, I was in Ireland and it was uh, in the web summit and it was cold there. And I looked at Facebook and I saw my friends lying at the beach in Tel Aviv. I thought, oh, it's great, but it's not really relevant. So I think a lot of companies and a lot of social networks suddenly start moving toward getting, you know, your, when you know your geofencing where you are, to get a lot of uh, data regarding that time. You understand? This might be fun at a music festival uh, to put uh, various things on yes, there. Yes, absolutely. Um, it'll be interesting to see where, where it goes. It's a little fun. It's fun to play with right now because nobody's on the system. Yeah. It'll be interesting <laughs> to see uh, what happens when uh, when there's a lot of tags in a, in a certain absolutely. area. Uh, you know, at Coachella, I imagine there's going to be thousands if everybody was on the app. Absolutely. Right? So what we did right now, we, we open it for everyone. I mean, yeah. everyone can see everyone because we want content in that. But in the later stage, you will be able to see only what your friends, your friends, you can do Facebook Connect or your, your phone book Connect. And then you can leave notes that yeah. after the first time somebody sees it, it's a race, you can leave notes only to one person, to a group, to any of your friends, etc., etc. Um, like, for example, uh, you want to leave notes uh, um, in the morning, uh, uh, please buy milk, and uh, after that, it, this note will be a race. So there's a lot to do with that, uh, and I believe that and as and I saw from today, there's a lot of reaction. A lot of people already start downloading it because uh, I think people need it uh, because we want to put a lot of notes for everyday use. For example, if you look at Facebook, every time I want to put a picture, I'm thinking about it before, whether people will like it or not, and set up with Instagram. Here, you just, you don't care. You just take photos. You can leave any notes you want. It's, yep. it's, there's no, you don't dirt the wall, as we said, it's for everyone. Um, whenever they come to the to the place, so making a, a mark in reality, as we as we say. Yeah. When when you when I visited your office, yeah. uh, you started outside the building with me and uh, said, "Oh, wa watch how accurate our uh, indoor navigation is." And uh, you showed exactly where I was, even though there wasn't GPS because we were inside. Um, tell me about the bigger. Uh, goal of the company, I guess, because the company w wasn't started to build this app, right? No. Uh, so what, what's the bigger goal of uh, ShopCloud? So the bigger goal is, again, is uh, help build, we want to be able to give people the ability to understand the surrounding. So our navigation app, which worked perfectly, again, our accuracy, and you saw it, is uh, one meter, and we don't need to put any, any hardware in the premises. We all, need, all you need is the smartphone. But again, we wanted to find a way to map. We wanted people to help us to map indoors and we think we found a cool way to do so we're still mapping places and people are already using our uh, inside navigation app uh, uh, in israel because we map uh, several places and but if you look outside there's so many buildings around the world i don't think any company can do it uh, by themselves we need the help of the crowd and i think this is one of the the ways at the same time we develop um, because of our product recognition we already work with top tier retailers around the world and we're selling them uh, the SDK of our technology that people can come in and shop. So, I mean, make yep. shopping easy and uh, comfortable. And But our, our aim is that in the end, people will navigate with, with our app and hopefully will enjoy a space tag as well. Yeah. Where I want to use technology like this is in a museum. I, w I was just in the Louvre in, in Paris, and there's thousands of pe pieces of art. And I want to just look around and say, oh, wh what is that one? You know, and tell me more about that. Uh, almost a t tour guide, and w we can start seeing how we're going to do this with beacons and stuff, and technology like yours. H how can I uh, can I apply a, a one of these new space tags to a piece of art on the wall so I could uh, look at it and and see the tag on the, on the art and see what people have said about the art? Great example, of the museum, because I think it's a great place to get information because people coming in and they look at things. Why not give them the information? So yes, with, uh, right now we're working with the Museum of Israel, and what you will do when you will go in, 
once you point your phone toward any, let's say, you, know, you said the Louvre, the Mona Lisa, for example. Yeah. So of course you get all the specification about the, the painting. Now with Space Tag, because we know how to do uh, virtual beacons, we can stick the virtual beacon on a, on a specific item, but we thought it's better that we'll leave it in the space because if I left you a message and you need to come directly to the, to the same item, I think it's a little bit uh, a barrier. So we decided to leave it around. Okay. So of course, with inside navigation, you can go into a museum that we're working with and get all the information directly on the, the specific item, which is a painting in this example. Yeah. But with Space Tag, you can actually leave, when you go inside the museum, any notes you want. You can talk about the Mona Lisa. So once people enter the museum with Space Tag, of course, they can see all the information that people leave. Yeah. And I think it's, it's, uh, it's quite fun to get real information from real people. Let's say when you walk into, how we map places. So let's, uh, let's take a shopping mall. Yeah. So I look at things that are like structure that always there, like for example, logo of a, of a store. Yeah. So I scanned it and straight away, this is for me a beacon. So once you go into a shopping mall with our app and you open the app, Straight away, I recognize this sign, uh, this yeah. particular example. Yeah, if and you I, know where this exactly, sign is, once, uh, so you exactly. know where you are. So I scan like it. Straight away, this, I make it a virtual beacon. When you open the app, I recognize this, and right away, I know you're here. Yeah. Now, so when, we, I, when I use a, a, a space tag, uh, does it recognize all the uh, signs in the room? Is it, is it uh, building a virtual model of the room? Or is yes. that the next version or something? No. So we are in the company what we did we are able with one camera we know how to measure depth yeah and this is quite unique and so the moment for example i take a picture with space yeah, tag, you can look at this sign and know how far exactly. away you from that sign you are so what i do at that moment how do you do that by the way yeah, that's really cool you shall ask my uh, cto which is uh, is a genius guy and we worked a long time on that yeah and um, yeah you can measure depth and uh, other companies, what they do, they use two cameras and a laser, and an um, infrared, sorry, to understand depth. We can do it with one camera. Yeah. And I think we showed you when you were in the Yeah, yeah. you when pointed you at a, a yeah. picture on the wall and you and knew shows exactly how far exactly. away I was from exactly. the picture. Exactly. So with Space Tag, when people take pictures, straight away we understand, we don't, need, we don't see the faces, but we see the surrounding. And with that, we learn about, again, we're doing the virtual beacons and we learn the depth. So we can measure, and once you start walking, we, we painting, we drawing the, your route. So for example, if I take a picture here, and, I, and uh, the route showing that I'm leaving, the, the, you know, the door is over there, I understand that the door is over there. So I can actually map oh. the place. Interesting. Thank you. Interesting. <laughs> it's All a lot right. of work. So there's a lot going on underneath that you don't really see in the app yet. Yeah, yeah. But as the same with inside and, and but space you, tech. This way, uh, version two, version three, will be able to add a lot more features because you're able to see much more about the room and know the traffic patterns and all sorts of fun stuff. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. Crazy. Yeah, I know. So uh, we enjoy it. Uh, I bet uh, IKEA would love you, right? Because you're walking around with an IKEA app and you're uh, going, oh, where, where's the uh, bed sheets? <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, it'll tell you right ahead. It, uh, exactly. Is the bed Not sheets. only IKEA, it can be in supermarkets and it can be in other places that, that you can actually not only recognize again in ikea for example you can you would like to go to the sofa area yeah. you can actually point and give you can get all the information about the sofas and then you press navigate me to the pickup location it will navigate you there then you press pay and that's it very cool. i mean today yeah today it's make shopping much easier and faster very cool um how did your how did uh, shop cloud get funded so far, we raised um, around $2 million yeah. from, you know, we put money in the beginning and some angels. And um, we got incomes because we already work with top retailers around the world. And uh, now we're looking for a big sum and uh, hopefully it will come soon. Yeah. We got a lot of interest from a lot of big companies and yeah. we're trying to figure out to the best way for shop to. Well, in indoor navigation is a, a huge space. Can you, uh, can you tell me uh, uh, what that space looks like to you? What, what's the competitive landscape? Because uh, there's a lot of companies out there trying to do indoor navigation of different kinds. Obviously, nobody has an app like a space tag, but that's a new thing. Um, indoor navigation is, is a very hot subject, as you mentioned in the start. Uh, a lot of companies trying to go in this era. Um, a lot of, most of the companies, what they did, they working differently than us because they, first of all, they put um, a lot of hardware 
or any different kind of hardware. We don't need to use any hardware, so there's no infrastructure. Any s there's no need to, it doesn't you cost don't need money. To put we don't need to put no beacon, no Wi-Fi. I mean, you can even navigate on flight modes. Now, another thing that we're doing, I think, separately from other companies, other companies that install hardware, they give you as an SDK, so it means that one mall will have one app. We decided to um, actually launch one app for every venue that you walk in. So, for example, you, you can do it in hospitals, museum, um, shopping malls, in your office. So, it's a lot of work. We still have a lot of uh, mapping, is, again, is uh, one of the issues. Um, Google, for example, is doing the same, but Google is working with Wi-Fi. Google, for me, I'm, I, no, I'm not even saying that I'm a competitor because Google is big. We're still in the beginning, but uh, we have a unique technology, and I think we have one of the most advanced technology today in the world. And uh, I, I think it will take um, a few years until we'll map a lot of places with the help of SpaceTag, and people will enjoy navigate with our app. Very cool. Thanks for coming in and Thank showing you. it to me, and Thank thanks you. for uh, meeting with me in Tel Aviv. It was uh, one of the most remarkable companies I've seen, and a uh, unique approach to using the sensors on the mobile phone to figure out things like how far a picture is from you. It's really a pretty crazy uh, technology you guys build. Thank so, you very much. Hope to see so you again in Tel Aviv. Where do we uh, get uh, sh uh, What's your URL? Ah, uh, they can go um, on shopcloud.com. Yeah. They can learn about the company and uh, spacetag.me. Very cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.